Well, despite a few recent closures on the Great White Way due to COVID concerns, one new show will still go on, and this Broadway musical is about to take audiences on quite the journey. Here's a look at Flying Over Sunset. As the monster, I mean master. Maestro. Maestro ends the waltz with a wave of his b b b b banana. Beton. Yes, it is going to be a fun ride, and joining us is someone who gets to go on this journey every single day, Tony and Grammy-nominated actor, a.k.a. Birdie, to Downton Abbey fans. Please give a huge hello, governor, to Mr. Harry Haddon Payton. Hi. Hello, sir. So do I get a thumbs up or thumbs down for my hello, governor? It's very good. Yeah, that's I why you're... That, if that's this doesn't work out for you, I think there's some... <laughs> that's why you're the great actor that you are. But, but, <laughs> but seriously, on a serious note, Broadway has been in the headlines this week, as we just mentioned, but you and the rest of the cast will still be flying over Sunset as planned. So are you guys amping up the safety precautions you already have in place? What's the plan? Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. Look, it's a scary time. And, um, but, but the Lincoln Center Theatre is doing everything they can. We... Uh, Everyone has to be vaccinated. Everyone has to wear a mask. There are no concessions, so there's no mm -hmm. opportunity for people to lower their masks. Um, backstage, no one is allowed backstage unless they're fully vaccinated. And we are testing now. We're PCR testing every single day. Oh, so right. we can get a positive, and we'll know that person has it before they're ever contagious. Perfect. So it feels very safe. Oh. Also, the Lincoln Center Theater is enormous. Yeah. So you feel like there's more space than walking down the street sometimes. <laughs> right. All right, so here's the deal. Speaking of the Lincoln Center, is it part of your contract to do as many shows as possible over there? Because you know why I'm asking, right? Yeah, I mean, I wish. I'd, uh, I hope so. May, may this be the beginning of something very beautiful. But obviously, I was there for My Fair Lady, um, and this just fell in my lap, flying over sunset, and I couldn't say no. They really look after you over there. Um, I, I'm sure they do. I, I, I can't, I don't know. No, they don't know me. So it's they will. Funny. No, they, they will. don't. No, no, no. No, they don't. But it's like it fell on my lap. Yeah, because you don't need the talent. You don't need the acting talent or the singing talent. It just falls. And yeah, they just put anyone up there. That's correct. They, just needed, they needed a, a, a eccentric British guy, and they happen to have one. Oh, and, you, and you do it pretty well. So talk to us about flying over Sunset, because we know it's going to be great because you're in it of course. So tell us the storyline, what's interesting about it, and the part you play on this flight. Okay, well, it is a flight. You, um, it's, not a lot of people knew that, that people were taking LSD in the 50s. So before it became part of the free love culture, they were doing it in many ways the same way they're doing it now to help with uh, trauma, PTSD, and all that. And people like Cary Grant were taking it and my character, Aldous Huxley. And James Lapine's written this musical, which is completely original. It's not based on a book or a movie or anything, mm -hmm. uh, which is unique nowadays. Um, and it's about three, four people who are well-known uh, taking LSD and going wow. on a trip together in Malibu in the 50s. All right, so that's the flight, uh, flying over Sunset that we're referring to. That's it. To. They're that, flying that's... over Sunset Boulevard, but they're all flying over their issues, oh. if you like. They're, over, they're overcoming things. Yeah, okay, so which is what we all need to do at this point, overcome whatever obstacles we have. See, such a brilliant yeah. actor. Okay, so can I well, just tell you that, you know, we mentioned Birdie when we introduced you earlier, and our director was like, is that Birdie from Downton Abbey? So you know that your diehard Downton Abbey fans cannot wait for the new era coming their way in March. There he is. Yeah, no, neither can I. Really? Uh, so we shot it in July, in August, and we got to... Um, Obviously, there were COVID protocols, and it was a lot to go through, but uh, we managed to do it. And there's a month filming in the south of France, which, you know, wasn't too difficult after a year locked in one's home. Um, and I think people are going to be really excited. It's full of light and love and community. Like our play, yeah. um, it's all about connection. It's about connecting with people, uh, with loved ones, with friends. And I think that's what everyone needs. And it'll be a huge, wonderful, celebratory antidote, I think, to the last year we've had. Of course it will. And the funny thing is, like, you know, it's no secret that many people love British accents. 
but French mm. accents are also at the top of that list. So you're British, and during my stalking session slash research of you, you studied <laughs> French too? Yeah. Yeah, along the way. Along the way, but you, are you fluent? Uh, no, I was a lazy student. I can get by. I did a French movie. It was my first movie was the one that Marion Cotillard won the Oscar for. See, that's what I was thinking, because I was like, for you to be in a French movie, you have to know how to ha 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 and wee 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 and all that stuff. Wee 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 wee. And I had to I had to speak French with an American accent. See, there is nothing you cannot do. You're like you 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 have your your real your real <laughs> British accent. Come and see the show. There's some there's some dancing in it that um you I know, think I'm, you can I'm pull it off. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> if you're bad at dancing, it's because you're acting bad, because you choose to do that. So we do not believe you. But we cannot wait to see you again, sir. Govna. Oh. Everyone at home flying over sunset is now running at the Vivian Beaumont Theater at Lincoln Center. Go by, say hi to him. It's safe to see it. They're taking all the precautions. And tell, him, tell them OG sent you. They yes, might get do. To know. Tell them? OK. Is that good? Thank you, sir. Great.